Hello friends, welcome to Susan and John MathTube. This is part 6 in Old Question Paper Solution and we are at question number 11. And in this part, my aim is to teach you two proportion testing. So we will do one question from the question paper and I will give you one more question so that you get a very clear idea about two proportion testing. Anyway, uh, in proportion testing, let it be single proportion, two proportion or more than two proportion. More than two proportion will be chi-square test. Uh, in single proportion and two proportion, you can be sure that the sample size will be large. And if the sample size is large, we are going to use Z calculated and Z tabulated. And second thing, when it comes to two mean, when it comes to paired when it comes to two means small, large, whatever, two proportion, I feel writing H1 will be more comfortable for you. And H1 means the alternative hypothesis, that is what exactly we are trying to prove or whatever we are trying to talk about the population using the sample. Okay, so we have a question, Dyson Company. Uh, the question is a little bit vague over here, but we can understand. They are talking about the defectives. And we have to investigate. They have given the proportion. They have given that 1 person is defective out of 200, 2 person is uh, defective out of 300. Okay, anyway, uh, we are trying to prove or check whether company B is better. Look at this, let P1 and P2 be the population proportion of the defective items. Listen very, very carefully. They are talking about defective items. So if company B is better, so if company B is better, then that means, if company B is better, then that means the number of defectives produced in company B will be less. I will repeat once more, if company B is better, then the number of defectives produced in company B will be less. So this is exactly what we have to check. That is proportion of defectives in A is more than that of B. Then we can say B is better. And H0 of course will be the reversed in equation P1 less than or equal to P2. Now let's put it in the standard format. P1 minus P2 less than or equal to 0. Remember the right side is still delta and small delta and the alternative P1 minus P2 greater than 0. So this is a right tailed test. That means I am not going to write alpha by 2, I am going to write alpha. By the way, ah, yeah, alpha is given. So please write level of significance alpha is equal to 0 0.05 level of significance alpha is equal to 0 0.05. Now the most important step, the calculation step, that is step number 3. So step number 3, calculation. And first of all, let's write proportion. Look at this. If you want, you can use the percentage directly. If you want, you can use the formula, uh, what you call percentage directly. And uh, I am going to use the proportion, not the percentage. So I am going to calculate the sample proportion. Look at this. Sample proportion will be denoted by cap. And in some books, they put tilde. Okay. So anyway, the sample proportion of defectives is 1 percentage out of 200. And that comes to 2 out of 200. So we have P1 tilde or P1 cap is equal to 2 out of 200. So remember, I am not using the percentage, I am writing the actual proportion. Now P2 cap is equal to 2 percentage out of 300. Uh, that means 2 out of 100, 6 out of 300. Yeah. So there will be 6 out of 300. Now if you are writing the proportions, uh, you can, if you if you have the actual proportion, you can call this x1, n1, x2, n2. Anyway, we have to calculate something called the combined proportion, pw. 
and P W is given by uh, what you call x1 plus x2 by n1 plus n2. If you don't want to use this formula, you can modify this by multiplying by n1 and it becomes n1 p1 cap plus n2 p2 cap the whole divided by n1 plus n2. Anyway, uh, you, you can plug in these values. Uh, I got P W cap is equal to remember if you are using percentage you can use this you can plug it anywhere if you are using this formula remember this will be x1 this will be n1 this will be x2 this will be n2 I think this will be more comfortable I have seen more others using this formula anyway P W cap is equal to 0 0.016 please check it now the formula for set calculated goes like this P1 cap minus P2 cap the whole divided by root under combined proportion 1 minus combined proportion as a product 1 by N1 plus 1 by N2 and that will be here N1 is 200, 300 yes, just plug in all those values use a calculator you can use the fraction button and do it in a single step. 6 by 300 the whole divided by root under 0 0.016 1 minus 0 0.016 into 1 by 200 plus 1 by 300 and I ended up set calculated is equal to minus 0 0.873 now come on tell me what is step number 4 we have done so many problems I am sure that you are used to it now step number 4 is tabulation and make sure it is not two tailed no it's right tailed right tail means set tabulated will be z alpha and that will be z 0 0.05 i'll take the modulus value because i'll decide whether i want the negative value or positive value by looking at the test if it is left tail i'll use negative if it is right tail i'll use positive if it is two tail i'll use both and where is my stat table 0 0.05 0 0.05 is a standard value I have seen before 0 0.05 1.645 so 1.645 now draw the rough graph okay now it's a right tail test so I'll mark this on the right side so I'm going to take the positive value and where should I mark reject yep on the tail and here accept now one more small thing to do compare so step number five what is step number five the decision making step minus 0 0.873 oh that is in acceptance region so that's it finished accept hits not except H0 that is we are 95 percent confident uh, there is no evidence to prove that company B is better than company A so we are 95 percent confident that there is no evidence to prove that company B is better than company A okay uh, I'll show you one more question and then wind up this video so look at this Two bonding agents, capital A and capital B, are available for making a laminated beam. Out of 50 beams made with agent A, 11 failed a stress test. Note, note it very, 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 very carefully. We are talking about failures. We are talking about defective. We are talking about the negative side. And 19 out of 50. Look. Whenever they talk like this, 19 out of 50, 1 percentage in 200, 3 percentage in 500, that means they are talking about proportion. And we have two proportions here, proportion of A and proportion of B. And proportion means proportion of failures. Can we conclude that agent A is better? Wait a minute. If agent A is better, then the number of defectives will be less. So, we are trying to prove that
proportion 1 is less than proportion 2. Is that clear? If agent A is better, then they will be making uh, what you call less failures. So, as I told you before, this is H1, this is H0. Uh, it's a left tail case. I put alpha, no need to take alpha by 2y. Yeah, it's not a two tail test. Okay, now we write the formula P1 cap minus. If you want, you can use this formula. If you don't like this, you can go for N1 P1 cap plus N2 P2 cap, the whole divided by N1 plus N2. And the advantage is, if you use this, you can use even percentage directly. And that's it. You got calculated minus 1.75. And it's a left tail test, so it's in the rejection region. So reject H0, that means accept H1. That means uh, age and day is better. That's it, my friends. I hope you understood testing of two proportions properly. But remember, watching this video is not enough. You have to work out a lot of questions. Watching this video will help you understand or now you are in control and if you work out, not read, not watch, you have to work out with pen and paper. If you work out a lot of problems, then definitely you will get marks. So I will be back with the next video and the next video we will go for question number uh, 12 and that will be test of independence. So till then my friends, 